Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Shogun 2 Total War. And this, my friends, is war indeed, because the uh, Satomi, they have deemed it necessary to try and attack me. I mean, yes, I was going to take your settlements from you, but still. <laughs> okay, so uh, from the unit cards, before this battle started, you can get a general gist of uh, my army makeup. Got some Bow Samurai, some Bow Ashigaru, which I'm, as per usual, putting up front. Uh, we have the uh, Yari Samurai and the Yari Ashigaru on the wings, the Katana Samurai in the centre, and on the other side the more Ashigaru and some more Yari Samurai, with the horses out wide, general in the centre. And as per usual, which is nice of them, it gives me a nice hill to defend on, which is great for my archer's range, great for me to charge down, uh, gives me more uh, momentum in both uh, the uh, archery fight and the melee fight, which is... Uh, a much welcome boon. The enemy have uh, superior numbers in terms of infantry troops. They've got a, a back line of infantry and also another line of infantry and some more archers. So they've got far superior numbers, specifically in infantry. But I have a little plan how to deal with some of their infantry, or at least keep them tied up, and it involves my horses. As the infantry, as the uh, melee fight begins, in earnest. Skirmish away, folks! Ooh, nice volley there. Do my boys return fire? Indeed they do. Oh, indeed they do. Here comes some more. Oh, another one gets it. Another few get it. They send their uh, Yari Ashigaru up the hill towards us. And also a, uh, another unit of the Arashiguru is not far behind, but I counter with a charge down the hill with my men to stop them from hitting into my archers. Here we go! Get ready! Charge! Oh, and clash of bodies as the men collide! On the other side we have a similar situation. But my Yari Samurai are here to save the day as we go once more for Ding Ding Round 2. Look at this guy. Banzai! Oh! Oh! Stabbing them through the neck! No mercy indeed! Another one goes! No mercy indeed! And that is no, shit. My horses get caught up here. I was a little bit slow to react. On the other side, my horses are successful in leading my uh, the enemy troops on a merry dance away from the main fight. Still a bit more peppering with the archers here. The vast majority of the enemy forces are sent to this side, to my right wing. Whilst a couple of them are diverted with the horses. This unit of Yari Samurai is a quite the heroic unit. It holds back quite a few of the enemy's Yari, Yari Ashigaru here. Look, they're sending more wave after wave of Yari Ashigaru against this poor <laughs> Yari Samurai here. My horses are diverting away. They've outmaneuvered their foe and I now send them into the flanks of the bow whilst this unit does the same on that side. Here we go! Whoa! Men go flying, the archers get caught out. Similarly on this side, they get caught out of there. And my horses pull out for another pop. Got a melee fight here. They have superior numbers. But this unit of Yari Samurai still is standing fast in the face Peril! Go on lads! Keep your fighting up! Over here my Katana Samurai and some Yari Ashigaru are sent to deal with the enemy general who are stranded in no man's land. And there he goes! And over this side 
I have my bow samurai together with some uh, Yari trying to fend off a quick resurgence of troops. But the death of the enemy general severely demoralizes pretty much the whole army and from this point forward it's lambs to the slaughter. So that's just about it. A little bit of outmaneuvering with my horses. Slightly superior troops and a hill win the day for us. See you in the next uh, well, next part. It's the same part. We'll see you back on the campaign map. Hello folks, welcome back. As you saw in the replay, it was a flaming intense battle. But we came out on top. And the important thing is, we've pretty much eradicated most of their troops. We suffered a few losses. It was a gripping battle. We had to grit our teeth. And yes, we lost a few, few of our compadres there. But hey, the main thing is we won. As they hold themselves up, and this is it. This is the trouble now. It seems. No, I can't afford it just now. I'm afraid. No general for me. Right, as of the mastery. Strategy of defense. Considering I'm going to be doing a lot of defending in the near future, I think that's quite appropriate. Right. This is where business is about to pick up, as they say. The Ashina sending forth their troop force to try and do their very best to assist their pathetic friends. Can they do it? Can they do it indeed? Right, we're still recruiting this force in this fortress. Okay, we need to be very careful about how we go about our business. <clears throat> but the first step is obviously this place must fall fairly quickly. We've done the hard yards. This whew, peacefully occupy, upgrade the roads as quickly as we can so we can get the replenishment started. Ninja detected. Right. That's my monk. Let's try and demoralize this army if we can. Yes! So the army is demoralized. My monk increases in rank. Oh, that's not bad at all, is it? Plus three to campaign movement. Inspiring. Plus one when inspiring to inspiring armies. I want that pilgrim. Yeah. Increases my art mastery. There you go, plus one to zeal when demoralizing armies. That will be the most useful, so if we go down this line, definitely is preferable. Okay, let's get ourselves a... a wise elder. So, we have demoralized this army, hopefully uh, increasing, decreasing their morale for if and just in case they do decide to attack the next turn. They're going to suffer a penalty, I think. I think it will be next turn, or is it this turn? I don't know. I assume it will probably be this turn, to be fair, but anyway. We have taken Shimosa. <sighs> the Satomi, they have one province left. Now, this looks like quite a big province. It's a stronghold. It's the same as this, I think. No, this is only a fort. So this is slightly larger, heavier, def heavier um, defences, but we're not worried. We're not worried at all. What I am worried about is that the replenishment rate of this place is not going to be great because uh, of the fact that the roads aren't marvellous, so we need to upgrade these roads as quickly as possible. There they are, 1,200. Got a little bit of a, a ways to go, but we won't worry too much. What else can it build? Port, farming. Okay, that's fine. So yes, let's see what happens next. And even with this current army in, in, in its current state, 
Our archers are still plentiful. So I'm more than confident we can repel this if they launch an attack. No, not a, not, a, not a trouble at all, really. Here goes my monk. Oh, are they gonna double team me? They're gonna double team me. Oh, oh, oh god, have I bit enough more than I could chew? Oh, I don't have the energy to fight another gripping battle. So for this, we shall have to wait until the next set of updates. Maybe I've taken the wrong choice by attacking these guys. Maybe I should have attacked the Yusugi. Who knows? Discuss it as you will. But the path has been chosen. We now face a tough, tough challenge once again. But as you know, defending is slightly easier. And even though it looks quite bad from here, their forces will be separated. I'm still fairly confident we can pull it off. But to find out the result of this siege, this assault and to see if we can expand our lands further north without upsetting the Date and the Usugi. Join me next time. I hope you've had fun. It's been a little bit slow paced but hey, things take time and good things come to those who wait. So see you next time. Goodbye.